What is going on guys, SuseHD here, and today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on how to mod your Black Ops 2 PSN um, eboot to use SPRX. Now, this is something that I haven't seen very often. Um, uh, I'm not going to say I'm the first one to find this because I'm definitely not. I know there's been people that do it before, but I haven't seen tutorials really anywhere, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So, for all of you guys who are on um, PSN games or the downloaded games, you know the pain of not being able to use debug eboots and that kind of stuff. So, I'm going to show you guys how to link an SPRX to it. Um, and the first thing you want to do is go to your game. You can do this on FTP or on Multiman, whatever you'd like. Go to DRM directory in your NPUB game, and you're going to want to go ahead and go to this. Instead of rename, you're just going to copy this number right here. And you're going to put it in a text document summary. You can go ahead and disconnect if you want. I'm going to because I need all of the RAM I can get. My computer is extremely slow. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into this new text document, I'm going to go ahead and paste the number. It's identical to that one because I've already done this a few times. So um, once you've gotten your number, then you're going to want to go ahead and go to the Black Ops 2 eBoot Builder. I will send you guys um, on a RAR. You'll get this whole folder I'm using. So um, I'm going to go ahead, you're going to click that, open it up, it should be the exact same for you guys. Um, it's default, it's just so it can create the uh, file. Go ahead, click whatever you want. Um, make sure you click these three, they're pretty important. Click NPUB 31054 and hit build. And just wait a second until um, wait a second until this is updated. You'll see the uh, time update. And if it doesn't update, rebuild it. There you go. See how it updated the time? Alright. Um, for yours, it probably won't, but um, I'll send you guys this eBoot too, just in case you don't want to use your own, you just want to use mine. That's your choice. Alright, now what you're going to do is go ahead and paste it here, rename it to eBoot.bin. Go ahead, go to the resigner.executable. Okay, and you're going to go ahead, if you're on 4.21 or higher, you're going to go ahead and hit um, capital A, enter. You're going to go ahead and hit um, Y and enter again. Um, that's going to configure it to work on firmwares above 4.21. Then you're going to go ahead and type 1 and hit enter. It's going to decrypt the eBoot. Once it's finished, go ahead and hit enter and minimize the window. Next thing you're going to do is go to sprxelfbuilder.exe. I'm not going to send you guys this sprx. I'm not. I'm not going to send you guys this yet because it's not technically released. So I don't want to get a uh, copyright strike. Basically, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is type in the name of your sprx. So mine is bo2trainer.sprx. It'll automatically add the file extension, so don't worry about it here. Go ahead and click this and go and find the eboot.elf, which was from your eboot a second ago when you decrypted it. Go ahead and open, and go ahead and hit build. Give it a few seconds, and then this will pop up in the uh, folder. Go ahead and close this. Go to here. Rename it. Actually, um, first you want to go ahead and uh, rename these ones. These are your old ones, save them for a backup in case you mess up. Go ahead and rename this to eboot.elf. Alright, and go back to the resigner and type the number 3. Hit enter. This is going to pop up. Now this is where you're going to need that um, number that we just got. Or sequence, it's not really a number. Go ahead and right click copy, right click in here, hit paste, hit enter, and wait. Alright, once it's done, go ahead and hit enter, and you can exit out of this. Now what you're going to want to go ahead and do is, um, you can delete these if you want, I'm going to leave them here just for the sakes of the uh, tutorial. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit copy, or don't copy it, my bad, um, just go ahead and put it over here. If you're going to use um, Multiman, you're going to go ahead and copy that to your flash drive. If you're going to use um, FileZilla like I am, you're going to go ahead and open up FileZilla. I've already got the uh, FTP going on my PS3. So you're going to go ahead and connect, and you're going to go to devhdb0, game, npub31054, usdr, usdr, go ahead and open it up, and drag and drop. Alright. You're pretty much good to go. The only thing you have to do now is go back to dev HDD0. 
go to TMP and go ahead and drag and drop your SPRX file. Mine's already there because I've been using it for a while. So, um, once everything is done, you can go ahead and disconnect from your PS3, or if you're in multi-man, you can exit out of multi-man. And I'm going to show you guys some proof on my PS3.